She really hates him. It's really true. Testing one, two, three, testing. Uh, my wife hates me. Episode four ninety eight. What are we gonna do? We 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 don't have anything planned for five hundred. Is this is good. This could be our five hundred, just like this. Like, wait. Nah, we'll get. We'll, How do we do? We'll do it live in studio. We'll get some guests. And it'll be the same bullshit that we always deal with. Well, you know, it's in two weeks. Yeah. Well, we don't have to do it in two weeks. We could wait till the new year. We could take a break, then come back and do the 500th episode. You know, there's no. Uh, Is there anyone who's listened to all 500? Then they're fucking idiots. No <sighs> one's listened to all 500. Somebody has. No way. No one has. Not even Mr. Not even Rogers. It. Not even our producer. Well, he wasn't here in the beginning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that what you're saying? That's why I said he didn't. I mean, we started in that uh, place we lived after our house burned down. That's right. On uh, Claremont Towers. We were on the top floor, weren't we? I don't remember. Yeah. We were in the penthouse of a, a crappy... Get off. What's that? We were in a penthouse of a of a dump. How long did we live there for? Like six months, eight months? Eight months. Oh. Well, they remodeled our uh townhouse. Then we lived there some more, and then we moved here. This November, last November, no, November that just passed was three years here. Three years. Two of them throughout the pandemic but three years in this place well, we moved in november 2019 march of 2020 was the pandemic so we had a few months was it that no 2019 2020 20 oh okay was it 20 wait november is only like five months were that here mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's why I got so much done. That's why the house looked great because I got so much done because I had so much time to do it. Like I'm doing now. I was painting the stairs and put molding and I got to give it another coat and touch up and make it look perfect. Do you know your shirt's on inside out? No, I didn't know that. I don't think it is. Oh, it yeah, is. it is. It's no big deal. You can't tell. Now that you brought it up, now. Sorry. You All right, what are we gonna do this podcast? I'm really, I'm just. What's wrong? I'm tired. Uh -huh. I can't sleep at night and get to bed till three. Why can't you sleep at night? I don't the know. Coffee's too late in the day. No, not even close. Mm -hmm. Not even close. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I took an hour nap, or you take much. you do sometimes you take a nap at like. 6 30. no yes yeah, never that late. that late never and then you get up and you have coffee you're exaggerating the latest i take a nap is five <laughs> and the latest i drink coffee 6 30. that's not true it's a hundred percent true and i've seen you do it i've seen you at 7 30 be like you want a coffee i'm like are you crazy yeah let me tell you crazy bonnie no. let me tell you crazy. oh bonnie's like you only eat food that makes you feel fill, filled up. You only eat carbs. That's all you eat is no, carbs. No, no, I, I was making soups yesterday, okay? I made two different kinds of soup. And Rich only wants, like, potatoes. He wants, like, the thickest. No, I said corn and potato corn soup. Corn and potato. I, and you said you're going to make lentil and potato. There were no potatoes. Yes, there was. Hunks? You're supposed to put yes. hunks. There was no hunks. There might have been a little pieces of potato. Did you see, okay, so if I was living with someone who was making like delicious homemade soups, would I come around and criticize while it was being made? And he I, micromanages while do this, do that, do it like this, do it like that. Anything I'm making, he'll come by and criticize. No, I won't criticize. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you help. I'll give you verbal help. Okay, so we see it differently. 
I see it as criticism. I would just be like, oh, thank God. So, like, I would just be happy that I was getting food made for me. Oh, wait, really? I, yes. Yesterday, after I started painting the stairs, you went, oh, you got to do this, do that, touch up this, do that. Did you criticize I people? Thought you were or doing stuff? It with did, your glasses off and you didn't see it. I did say oh, your glasses. Oh, well, I thought you were making me. Paint. I thought you were making meals off the top of your head. I don't get that. Instead of using a recipe. I wasn't using a recipe. But listen, it's a little different. And, and, and now, how is yeah, because you paint the stairs once a, this is the first time. So I make uh, food every day and every <laughs> single time. There's always something wrong with it. And I didn't say there's something wrong. I'm saying how to, you know, there's always he, he never just accepts what's given to him and he never assumes that it's going to be something he likes. That's not true. So every meal he's like, wait, that's it? Where's the this? You're not making that? There's no this? It's always like a little bit of a a negative comment. What? So I was making soups and I did tell him. I was like, you only want the like he, he only likes soups that are like super, super thick soups. Like you don't like that chicken noodle that I make. It's all right. I have it. It's but it's not real. At least lentil soup is real. What do you mean it's not real? It's not chicken. There's no real. Okay, so chicken. call it like chickpea soup. All right, then call it that. Okay, but then is it real? If that's what you, if you're not going, if that's what you're going for, yes, chickpea and rice soup, yes, but it's not. It's not. Uh, well, it has soup. a chicken flavor. Oh, because I use vegan chicken soup broth. It's, so, and well, hold. What does this mean? Then we'll get back. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Why? Why did you just? Yours. You have a package no, with wrong address in our address. No, 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 else. no, don't, don't. Please update your no address. No. Why not? They have it. The U.S. Postal has your address. Don't worry about it. Then what is that? It's just a scam. It's a phishing scam to get your. If you go in there, it'll get your address and your. It'll make you put your credit card number in there and stuff. Why would they make you put your credit card? If I don't know, but it? they did. They, you know, that's the same as like, hey, uh, what was that? That was actually parcel service. Yeah, or something. Yeah, but they're, you know, they do it for all different companies. So anyhow, Bonnie's like, oh, you only like food with carbs. And then she made like pastry last night, and I go, "Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna." No, no, no. Then she's like, "Eat up." I was. Eat. You were making a sandwich. I was like, "Use the good bread." No, it that's was. what it was. And then you were using these little rounds, and you're like, "Too much carbs." And I was like, "Oh, live a little." Yeah, she all. She, you know what her nickname is? Mix messages. It's Bonnie Miss M Mixed Messages. Mm -hmm. That's all she does. It's run around giving mixed messages. You want me to say it again? Mixed messages. That's, well, you should give me a different nickname. That one's really too hard for you to say. No, it isn't. Nothing's hard for me to say. I'll say it the way I say it. Go. You got to yell at me like I'm doing something. You got to you mixed messages. Stop doing that. Caroline's just closing. Okay, thank you. For... All right. Want to get on that subject? I just want to like do what you do to me, which is just completely ignore things that you say and bring up something else look at you with your lipstick looks pretty you see that lady on the internet who made her lips real big i, I the lady on the internet who made her lips real big yeah like, what it's ridiculous they're like well what happens is people get lip injections and they're too heavy so over time it like their like, lips fall down and then you can't see the top lip anymore no, this one was gigantic. But big lip lady, I call her. The big lip lady. Anyhow, so. Great. More stuff. What else did you see on the internet? Oh, boy. Too much stuff. Mm. Fighting with all these Trumpies this week. Why do you fight with people? I don't I get, get it. Bored. I get bored. But two of them but are. Why two of them, I know. I don't. And why give do me a good feeling. It's just. It's giving my opinion on things. I like. I know, but to whom? Like, why? People I know, I know them. One I didn't know that I just fucking. Didn't. It doesn't make sense in my brain. So, 
when I do know. Because I disagree with people sometimes. I have to I know, give my to opinion. Strangers. I just said two that I know. Okay, but one of them was a stranger. Yes. Billy Joel wrote a song called that, The Stranger, I think. <laughs> what do you think that has to do with anything? I'm not, I'm just, you know. I'm just asking you a real question. I what said. What is the drive? There's no drive. I want to get my opinion. They put their opinion. It's all. It's on my wall or whatever. Or it goes to my whatever. You're scrolling. You see it. Yeah, I see it. So I go, well, I don't agree with this. And I think it's wrong. And, and then I, is there any, like, have you ever changed anyone's mind? All the time. People go, you are 100% right, Mr. Voss. No, those are people who already agree with you. No, there's other people that no, go, No, there's well, nobody that's- I've had people go, yes, I see your point of view. Yes, he is a buffoon. They do say that. They end up saying, yes, he is a buffoon. Well, we but, still like him. We want to vote for him. Yeah, or they go, no, they won't vote for him now. No one, I mean, it's very, you know, he's just embarrassing himself on a daily basis. So he's not going to get a lot of voters now. He's going to ruin it for the other guy, DeSantis. Is that his name, DeSantis mm -hmm. in Florida? Good, I hope so. They're all fucking lunatics both sides are just all nuts i'm gonna i'm not gonna say it again just get somebody young in touch with fucking reality some young yeah but nobody wants the job who's sane why would you want you're not you don't make that much money it's like a lot of work you get a lot of shit a lot of perks man i used to watch uh that show about the white house what was it called madam secretary oh that one i watched a lot of seasons of that well, House of Cards, you also watch. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot about politics from watching Madam Secretary. Mm. We bailed out on our movie last night. We we tried to watch Amsterdam, and we got about an hour in. We're going, what the fuck is this? You know, it's just... And so many major stars, and it was like every shot Margot Robbie was in was like a... Uh, lingering long it was like it was like a cosmo fucking uh spread in cosmo like the guy was it was like she was modeling. like a magazine cover yeah it was like a magazine cover for macaulay's or cosmo Macaulay's. yeah that was an old mccall's is that what it was i don't know if that's a magazine that's there was a magazine it was okay you know for ladies fashion magazine for ladies yeah thank you I mean, she's very attractive. I'd like to meet her. She seems cool. What's her name? Margot Robbie. I'd like to mm -hmm. meet her. I bet if I did a lot of shows back in L.A., she'd be at one of them. We'd probably go out, hang, and have coffee. I don't think she'd go out with me, but she would hang out with me. You know what I mean? Do you think? Yeah. Maybe go to uh, to to toy and have some uh, uh, what uh, Thai food. Yeah. Toys, that was called T S O or something, toy or I think it's T O I. T O I. We'll go there, toy, maybe me and Margot. What's her name? Margot Robbie. You know what? You just said her name like five times. Yeah, Margot no Robbie. Name. And we'd have a uh, Thai food. Just hang out. Maybe. But it probably wouldn't go past making out. Maybe at the end of the night she would be like, Oh, that guy's charming, funny. Think she would make out with me, Margot Robbie? <laughs> huh? You don't want to give your opinion? You jealous of Margot Robbie? I mean, I'm jealous not because of you. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I mean, she's like the most beautiful, most famous act actress on the planet. She's the most famous. I mean, right she's now. pretty famous. Who do you think is the most famous actress? Her? Who else? Who could be the most famous actress? Ew. You're oh. like, what? what Margot Robbie? Yeah. Or, you're back out with? Oh, Scarlett Johansson's pretty famous, right? Yeah. Pretty. And Jennifer she, Lawrence. Yeah. I think Margot Robbie's right now at the top of her game. Parker Posey. Parker uh -oh. Posey? What? <laughs> Margot Robbie. Hey, p Google most famous actress. No. Yes. No. I will for you. Oh, God. Let's see who's sitting. Uh, Why? Let's see who's the most famous actress. Who's the most famous actor, do you think? 
hold on. Most. Tom Cruise is probably still the most famous actor. You think so? I think Denzel. Maybe. Or the cat. Most famous actress. Not of all time. Meet the 25 kind of most popular actresses. Of Jennifer all. Lawrence is at the top of the list. Is she? Well, why don't you start scrolling down? I'm not going through all these. They always go next. No, 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 no. You did it wrong. There's no next. Go back. You got to go down. There it is. Oh, look at that. Meryl Streep. Oh, Helen Merman. Merman? Mer Helen Merman? Who's Mer that? Kate Blanchett. No, no. See, I don't even think she's in it. This isn't one of those old ones. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence is number. Oh, is that third or is that one? Angelina Jolie. Who's number two? Scarlett Johansson. Jennifer Lawrence. Emily Blunt. Elizabeth Olsen. What? Really over Mark? Really? Zendaya, whoever that is. <laughs> Anna Taylor. She Jay. was in the movie last night. Shalene Woodley. <laughs> Anne Hathaway. Come on, still stop it. Zoe Zeldano. Zoe Zeld Zeldano. She was the five most popular night. actresses of 2022. Okay, I'll do that. Just the five. Number one, Jennifer Lawrence, fame 91%. Two, Scarlett Johansson. I'll go with that, 90%. Three, Emma Watson. Eh, maybe. For Elizabeth Olsen? No. Got some good publicists. She was in what? That, uh, oh, show? my God. Number five is Alexandra, Alexandra Daddario. Who's that? She was in White Lotus last year. I don't know anything else that really she's been in. The 10 most popular actresses of all time. Of all time. Meryl Streep's got to be in that one. Number Nicole one. Nicole Kidman. Betty White. Betty White, number one. Two, Marilyn Monroe. Okay, yes. Three, Sandra. Sandra Bullock. Yes, Whoa. of all time, I like her. Four, Jamie Lee Curtis. Huh? Yes or no? Jennifer Five, Anderson, Anderson, of course. Yes. Six, Julia Roberts. Yes. Reese Witherspoon. Seven. No black actresses. I know. Shirley Temple. Yes. Meryl Streep is number nine. Drew Barrymore, number 10. Stop. Well, oh, there was my a, God. There was no black actresses. That's a racist or... Popular with whom? Yeah. Most popular with whom? That's what he's saying. Kanye West. Mm. That's sell We're out. We're not going to do that again, are we? We didn't talk about it in the last episode. Mm -hmm. Fucking sell out him you yeah. get you get really worked up about like this is what i think sometimes is that oh, like here we go well i mean we gotta, talk, we gotta talk yeah, about something no, oh you no. want to just list more things let's about list, positive let's things list, let's list more things no i mean this is oh my god you're so disgusting i didn't blow my go ahead yeah but you're i didn't blow my nose i wiped my mouth are you five why what is that oh my god mama Oh, is that, is that one of your voices? That's like, you think I'm your mom all the time. I'm not your mom. No, no, because we don't have sex. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> Go ahead. What were you saying? That I'm I saying that I think what happens is that, like, when you focus on a certain thing, especially, like, on social media, like, writing on those people's pages you just get more of it so when you're saying like oh this like anti-semitism which i believe is true i'm not it's up i can't I even know, tell you the percentage it's up especially in new york it's crazy i know but but what happens is is that you start focusing on it and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger in your world in your bubble do you know what i mean so now it's uh, disproportionate no, it isn't. It's I disproportionate mean, to what it actually is in the world. And you're a hundred percent wrong on that one. But yes, things that you do click on, uh, you see more of it. But it is not disproportionate throughout the world. It's at an all time high throughout the world. I right? get that it's at an all time high, but now it's like the only thing you think about. No, that's not true. That's not true. It's like if you're looking for a new watch, 
it becomes the only thing you think about because you're generating that. That's, I, Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, you obsess on certain things. Yes, but, but, but you don't even. But that's the thing. You don't even have to obsess about it. Like for example, I look at vegan accounts, right? So if I interact, if I'm like become upset obses not obsessed if i start like you, commenting uh, on the vegan accounts or whatever i get more i'm fed more of that so that you're you're always radicalizing yourself in a way you're fed more vegan food do you go to vegan, vegan uh, propaganda you go to vegan uh chat rooms and sit and talk with other vegans i noticed that i used to not care if people were vegan or not and now i do now i get like like this guy was like um on this vegan account he was they show it and they go what do you think of this so so this bear this guy bear grills or something like that he grills bears no he that's his name he he's like a wilderness survival guy and he used to be vegan and then he was like i was vegan but i couldn't do 12 pull-ups you know so i went back and he goes now i eat meat more than any other food you know every meal and he can do 13 pull-ups but it was like oh kill living things and eat them or do 12 pull-ups like mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like when you when you think about it like if if you're not eating meat because you think like they're mistreating animals it's like <laughs> it just seems weird when people are like are you getting enough protein it's like who cares what do you mean who cares you're killing animals to get your what if what, that's, if, every, that's, what uh, if every time you killed a woman you got a little bit stronger would you be like well i'm not gonna stop killing women i keep getting like it depends how strong you want to get <laughs> does that <make> <laughs> it depends it's like i'm not saying everyone should think this way but in my mind that's what i think like well how ridiculous all, it is to even like to to get worked up about first of all i don't eat meat because it screws up my stomach it's it's just life killing animals yes is, it's, is it's, it though? yes it's, it's how it's that's we, we don't evolve forever. we don't evolve. It go, it, yeah we involved to doing it in a in a nicer gentle in a way. humane way right you know, so because if you if you had to kill your own animal and butcher it yeah to eat i probably just eat chicken and turkey that i mean i've had it. to kill i've had to kill chickens yeah. cut their heads off yeah when i was growing up so so certain people could eat around your uh -huh. neighborhood, around your that house. was for us only uh, and you didn't sell it no and um maybe we did i don't remember but um you know it, it was like you know you're you're like okay this is what we have to do to eat which is i think a I have more respect. Like people are like hunters, well, fuck them. It's like I have more respect for a fucking hunter than somebody who just goes to the grocery store and mm, let me get some lamb. First of all, why are people eating lamb? That's like eating a kitten. Lamb. Have you ever seen anything cuter than a lamb? People are like, mm, let me get some lamb. It's like you lamb should have to, is probably you should look at a picture. You should have to look at a video of a little baby lamb before you eat it. Lamb is delicious. I mean, that's a delicacy. So it's not everybody. So are kittens. Here. Have you ever so, eaten kitten? It's amazing. I, I mean, and also that's the other thing I think. That's why I used to call your pussy kitten. What, what is? <laughs> Bring that kitten over here, I used to say. Remember? Yeah. Go ahead. What were you saying? Now I'm just roadkill. <laughs> down there. Um, no, I, why, what's the difference between, like, why do people be like, it's okay to eat a lamb, but it's not okay to eat a dog or a kitten? Like, because they probably don't taste good. No, well, who knows? But the point is, yeah, if you found that somebody was eating dogs, you'd lose your mind. You'd be like, "That's hideous. That's hideous." But I just really, honestly, That's don't see the difference. I don't see the uh, difference. Yes, you do. It's just a construct of society that it's okay to eat these animals and not these animals. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yes, and so it, it's okay. You know, some people now you could you could buy pot or or marijuana anywhere, smoke it. It's okay, but you still can't go. Hey, but meth is okay. Yeah. So yes, this society says what's okay and what's not okay. You know, yeah, but pot used to not be okay. Remember reefer madness and all that. <laughs> you're you're saying a movie back in the. No, I'm saying like there was like you know people would. Thought, thought pot was like worse than alcohol which is ridiculous alcohol is much worse than pot 
but that was just a construct of society and then we like evolved and we're like oh actually pot's much better it's cool. better for you it's like less accidents what purpose, blah, 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 and blah, blah. i'm not i'm not i don't eat meat but what purpose do cows serve besides milk i mean come on what do cows do but for... what it's like any that's you that you could say that about literally anything mm -mm. oh let's just kill and eat the things that we don't find useful well i mean what's why are they, why do you think god put cows on earth but there yeah. was a t i'm not saying that there was no time when we should have eaten meat we became people because of meat yes but we evolve and i again i'll go back to it if you want to fucking raise a cow humanely and then eat it i mean that's not something i would do but i i, I have more respect for you than just going to the grocery store and like having a complete disconnect don't. a complete disconnect from like oh these were animals that were just like some people laying around in fucking feces and dragged through a the, you know they have to like bleach meat at the end of it the process before you can eat it because that's how gross and messy and disgusting it is well i don't know and if it's real bleached they probably just spray it down i don't know if they're, they're not using clorox yeah no. You know how much fucking uh you know medicines are in your body because of meat? It's none because I don't eat meat. Oh yeah. What kind of medicines are how would they make money if eighty percent of pharmaceuticals are made for for the animals before they get slaughtered? Eighty percent. Mm hmm Look it up. I don't want to sit here and be this, but the but I started this point because I've been radicalized just from a few fucking instagram accounts do you see i never used to talk this way but you click 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 on a couple of things and all of a sudden you're like your whole it changes the just way you think about don't things. go to hunt go to meat eaters or hunting uh accounts and see okay what right see okay. the other point of view well the other point of view is it tastes delicious but it smells good when it's cooking um i mean all but but i'm saying when you click on things and you fight with people, you'll never see their point of view and they'll never see your point of view because they're radicalizing themselves at all times. A lot of times people see my point of view because I make sense about it and they go, well, yeah. That's, that's honestly delusional. That's a fucking delusional. No, it is. You really think you're helping by going, yeah, listen, na, 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 90% of medicines were invented by Jews and blah, blah, blah. You're, you're, it's you're radical you're only changing your own it's thought process oh really so why do people you're culting yourself so why do people give motivation speaking and whatever so to, to to change people's opinions yes. all right so yeah right. if you're not part of the problem solution you're part of the problem my for me to get my message out i do what i gotta do so whether you want to believe it or not or change your opinion or not it it will never happen if I don't put my opinion out there. It will never happen. So you if 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 you if you make a hundred bucks and knock on a hundred doors and ninety nine people say no, you don't make any person, of the shots. And one person says yes, Is you, that make a a, thing? you make one dollar off every person. In sales. You make none of the shots. What is the saying? If you don't shoot, nothing goes in. I don't know. I just made that you one. Make zero percent of the shots you don't take yeah 90 percent of so the, so i get it you're doing it for a good cause but it's who's who's it really like whose time is it sucking whose brain is it changing it doesn't matter yours that's not true okay i wore my i mean i think i wore just... my never again shirt the other night you don't think subliminally that goes into people's heads they see it and there's part of it well, b the way my brain works is that when I'm confronted by something like that, I think that person is I my brain goes to being a dick towards that person. Well, so I'm not saying that's right, but I'm saying like you anytime, wear shirts that say anytime anybody tries to like get me to change my opinion, I'm like, go fuck yourself. That's that's just the way my brain works. I do get my opinion changed. Yeah, right. You do. When I talk. And I've done it. I'm just saying it's not. 
it's not a process as easy as wearing a shirt around and changing people's minds. You're right, but what do you think advertisement is? It's subliminal. Yeah, but it's like it's yes, subliminal. It's constant. Do, 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 do. Subliminal. You see something. You know what? But uh, the other day I saw a commercial for Taco Bell and I went and got Taco Bell. I was in the mood. It put me in the mood. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I got that. You went out and got it for me, and it was delicious. Because right then I was in the mood for Taco Bell. I it don't. cost so much money to get that. It's no. So weird. Yes, because the thing you asked for, it didn't have any of the ingredients in it. So then I had to add all the ingredients. It was like. Well, whatever. But anyway, I guess. Taco Bell is the cheapest place on the planet. It was literally $8 for a talk. Whatever. So that's what it's all about, messaging. Subliminal or. It, you know, right. But sometimes when you get messaging you hold your ground harder sometimes you do it's a numbers game mm -hmm. right right i guess it is so but i also think sometimes as especially with this kanye thing is that if we just ignored kanye do you know what i mean like how do you ignore he's got 30 million followers on Twitter. I know, but if if there if the thing was That's like one tenth of the if the thing was like he doesn't have power because he, he's mentally ill. If that was the the message, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm I'm I'm, I'm just speaking See, to my half husband. The politicians are mentally fucking ill that are out there. Right. And I'm they're reading. voted in. And they're voted in. Right, because there's sick uh, people out there. But I think what happens is it pushes people sometimes. Like I kept seeing the same picture. People kept putting it on their thing of like Kanye's right. These people holding up a sign That's and it was the same picture over and over. And it's like now you're giving power to something that didn't have any power before. It's like it was just three people on a fuck, just three idiots on a bridge. It was more than three. And it was, you know, whatever. I get it. But it's like your message is well, yeah, you that know. we're victims of Kanye. No, we're not victims. He's just helped. He's it, look at you every day talk about female rights and I females. You are not insane. You think that's true because once in a blue moon, I'll fucking bring it up. So you always use so that as a thing. A, no, I, when's you the last care, time I've spoken about it? I'm, I'm asking you. You care real. about abortion. You care about that stuff. Absolutely. So I care about my I, issues. I'm saying you shouldn't care about your issues. I'm just I'm asking you to just think about it in a little bit of a different way. You can still do whatever you want. I'm just. Thank you. I'm only just talking into a microphone because we need content. And this seems like an interesting thing that I think about. That's all I'm suggesting. Enough. But do you see how it's so hard to change someone's mind? Like, I can't get through to you even a tiny, tiny bit. Right? Because if I wrote this on your fucking Facebook page, you'd just be like, go fuck yourself. Right? I don't say that. I well, sometimes I, I or you just, just block, start block. doing stats. You wouldn't go, oh, maybe there's something to this. Maybe there's nothing to it. I don't know. I honestly don't know anything. That's the only thing that I've like found out about myself over the years is that I literally know nothing. Zero. Like you think you know how the fucking world works or how people get into power or how whatever. It, I know a lot. Okay. Right. Don't you think I know a lot? Sure. Oh, there's my package. They lied. They lied. Why? Because the dog's barking. That means there's somebody out there dropping off a package. But who lied? That e that fucking text that oh. we don't have your address. Oh. It sounds like there's always somebody walking upstairs. I know. <laughs> like, I was downstairs in the basement yesterday doing stuff. And I heard the toilet, the water, like the toilet was flushed, but there was nobody home. But a ghost can't flush the toilet because they don't have fingers. Oh, good. That's a good way to think about it. Right? It would go right through. Huh? I mean, they could knock pictures off the wall and open cupboards and stuff. Right? Only in movies. But that's true. But that, again, it goes back to like, we have no idea. We don't know. what We don't know even know if we're living in a simulation. Is this real? Is there heaven? Is there hell? We don't know any of it. Uh, yes, people Is die. this a dream and our dreams are the real life and we're 
in the dream world? You don't know. No, because there's no dream that would put somebody nagging me. Do I nag you? <laughs> did I say you? Oh, who else is around? <laughs> who did I say you? Who else? Was what, what, your second family <laughs> nags you? I don't think you've been spending enough time with your second family. I feel like you should spend more time with your second family. Uh, anything else going on in your life? What is life? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I gotta cut in real quick. The um, the camera keeps getting moved. I think some something's oh, moving. I keep the camera further to the right. Oh. I kicked it. <laughs> Sorry to be the bad guy and interrupt the momentum. Yeah. That's all right. We were just interrupted by our producer who said the camera was being moved, and I realized I kicked it a couple of times under the table. That's what Bonnie does to me when she doesn't like what I'm saying or when we're on a dinner date. With a people. dinner date? When yeah. was the last time we were on a dinner date that I kicked her under the table? I kick you under the table on podcasts. Yeah. Because you'll start saying stuff that's crazy. Or, um, like, when we were on Legion of Skanks, you said some crazy fucking shit. And that, that's what they expect on that dumb podcast. Oh, it's not dumb on that podcast. They use it as a clip. <laughs> they did? Yeah, about you wiping your dick on the side of the bed. Oh, uh, I was only kidding. Well, it didn't sound like a joke. It sounded like an excuse. I, I saw all I could think of at the moment. Of how to cover... I was making a joke. Do you really think I thought you were praying? <laughs> I walked in. First of all, I was in the house for a long while. I was like playing with Allie. I gave her a treat. I know. And you then I of... walked into your bedroom and you stood. You were like, you oh, scared oh. me. You stood up and you were like, oh, oh, no, oh. no, there, oh. Exactly. there goes. Uh, uh, and then went immediately to the bathroom. No, I didn't go through Yes, that, no. you went immediately to the bathroom. No. And then we were in Legion of Skanks. I said, I think I caught... Like, look, I don't fucking give a shit what you're doing. The doorbell's ringing. Do you want to go check? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do plugs while you go check. I hope it's not the... Uh, what do you call it again? They came yesterday to ass the assessment to assess our house for, I guess, taxes or whatever. Anyhow, I'll do some plugs right now. Uh, this Friday and Saturday, I'll be at Uncle Vinny's. Next Wednesday, Miami, the Chosen Comedy Festival in Miami. Friday and Saturday at the Comedy Inn, Miami. And New Year's Eve, Holiday Inn in Scranton. RichVoss.com. Uh, a lot of dates coming up. Houston, Arizona, San Jose, uh, San Diego, or La Jolla Comedy Store. All kinds of stuff coming up in 2023. And look out for my new CD, Rich oh, Voss 7. God, Who was it? It was just the UPS, Raina. I didn't get any packages? No, I even yelled at him. Is there, any, is there anything else? And he was like, no, that's it. He's really nice. Well, if there was anything else, he would have brought it. Why would you yell that? Because I thought he rang the doorbell like it needed a, you know. Oh, a signature? Yeah, so I was like, I'm here. All right. Well, we got six more minutes. Okay, so what were we talking about? It was something good. Oh, then on Legion of Skanks, you... I said, I said, I think I caught Rich praying, which was a joke. And then you started in on this thing, and it was like, why would you say that? It's so disgusting. It's literally one of the grossest things, and I've thought about it 200 times since. And then they put it on the clip. I was like, well, it's fine. It's just one time on a podcast. But then they use it as the clip. You talking about how you wiped your dick on the side of the fucking bed. It's got to be a lie. I don't know what you were doing, but you went to the bathroom right after. So how? I didn't do any. I wasn't doing anything gross. Believe me. Okay. I would never do anything gross. That's fine. In my house. I don't even want to know. Well, I, I don't want to know. I don't even. I, uh, I was thinking, what could it possibly have been? I don't even masturbate. 
like if you do you do it on your knees by uh, your bed <laughs> yeah, yeah pray and please stop me from doing this so i don't do anything that was that was weird maybe in a hotel i might and then and then a lot of times i always hear- i will come in from like walking the dog or something and be like hey and look rich in the eye he will never look me in the eye that's not true you go like this i swear to you every time you're like every time i look you in the eye you're like what yeah i, I think you're trying to hypnotize me i think like you almost never look like look me in the eye yeah look you're looking at my forehead you're not no, even looking I'm at me looking, in the eye. About? i do that it's bit on stage. You don't. I, oh i kicked it again sorry it's weird why don't you like look me in the eye like when I'm talking to you, sometimes I'll be like, "Hey, so would you?" You're like, <laughs> "It's always like seems so shifty, and weird." Shift. Like I was like, "He's doing something," but I'm a shifty character. What am I gonna do? I'll find out after you're dead, I guess. Ew. I mean, I'm gonna find shit after not, you die. There's nothing to find. I'm please. gonna just take your computer and throw it out. I'm not gonna look at it. I'll let you look at it. You look no, at it right no, now. I don't want to. I'm just gonna. I like, don't even look at porn. And and any any man who contacts me, hey, I was on the road. I'm gonna just delete, delete. <laughs> delete. I don't want to hear. I don't want to know it. Right, listen, what if you die first and I hear, oh, I'm Raina's dad. It would be you talking to yourself. Well, of course you're not gonna say. Who well, is. What, oh, it, it's what? Okay, I'm stuck in this situation where I can either tell you the truth, which is that Raina is your, your Raina's dad. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You quit it. Your Raina's dad. <laughs> Or, or so, what? Uh, <laughs> or lie so you feel better and vindicated. Like, do you want a reason to leave and not have responsibility? Oh, no, I would. But like, she's my daughter, no matter what. Is it? Is she? Is that why you you did your uh, twenty three and me? I just don't do that. Kind he of won't stuff. do it. He won't do it because he's scared to find out that his kids aren't his. Oh no, my kids are mine. They did it, and then, <laughs> and then they found out that they're Ashkenazi, <laughs> whatever it's called, Jew. So they, at least she fucked another Jew. At least you can be sure of that. Oh, we went to my uh, granddaughter's one year birthday party yeah. on uh, when was that? Sunday? Yeah. Saturday. 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 And uh, Jesus, these kids go all out on everything. You know, like the money they spend on just silliness decorations decorations and catering like holy fuck you know this is the one time i didn't have to pay for something or bonnie didn't pay uh for like my goodness relax and then i go to pick up my granddaughter and she cries you can't even pick her up yet she cries every time i go to hold her like you it's like bonnie Get uh-huh. it? Get yes, it? yes. You have never tried to hold me. I always go. You tried to rape me and... from behind a couple times. No, you I, never try to hold me. I always so... walk up and hug you all the time and say so... how pretty you are, and hug you and say what a good wife you are and good mother and a good housekeeper. I always. Say oh that. my God! Don't ever say good housekeeper. <laughs> I will kill you. Uh, so yeah, we went to her party and like there was like I didn't expect all those people to be there. It was too many people and kids and friends and you know i just we only stayed for like an hour and a half plus we had to work but too much too much then they do you know hannah burner tell us about it is that her name hannah burner yeah i like hannah burner uh but they were all like oh they were ta- like without us there could you hear them talking about her podcast no oh they were like she gives she they're just so funny i don't know who she does the podcast with oh. but she's like it's a giggle squad or something i don't know. and they're like they're just so funny and they tell us what documentaries to watch and <laughs> i was like is that if, like people want to know that stuff well, well why don't, don't you try the next theme documentary series number two which is i don't i think it's on hbo max the second season of what the nexium documentary it's I'm, about a cult. Oh, I thought it was about that and, stuff you take for your stomach next to him. And the cult was curing, um, what's that thing called where you, 
can't stop swearing or whatever. Tourette's? Yes. They they were curing Tourette's and people from all over the world with Tourette's were coming and they were curing them. How would they cure them? Some kind of like psychological, she would find out, you know, talk sessions with them and find out exactly where it started and somehow break the connection. And like on this documentary, they were showing shit, no shit, no way. Bullshit. Yeah. People were like, you know, they still have the urge, like some of them still had little ticks or whatever, but they were much, much, you know, they could like assimilate, you know. I met a guy the other night at the stand who had Tourette's. He was like being a little weird and he goes, sorry, I have Tourette's. I was like, don't apologize. Watch that Nexium documentary. All right. Well, that's a, there's another one in the can. Two more to two more to five hundred. That's what are we going to do? Five hundred. We'll do it uh, in the studio. Have a couple of guests. But that's only in two weeks. You're going to plan it. Uh, I'll just call a couple people coming in. We're doing it. Well, you got to plan it. That's called planning. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it tomorrow. Make some calls. All right. Well, listen. This weekend, Uncle Vinny's. Next weekend, Miami Inn on Friday, Saturday, Wednesday, the Chosen Comedy Festival in Miami. Uh, just like 10 comics on it, DJs, music. It's going to be great. So uh, next week in Miami, uh, hook, me, hook me up with a nice golf course. Email me at rich at richvoss.com. Take me to your country club in Miami. Come on, man. Let's get this wrapped up. Okay, man. <laughs> I'm going to go play golf. It's supposed to be it's 56 totally degrees. Now. No, it's supposed to stop. It's supposed to stop and be 56 degrees in December. I look, my face looks skinny like this. And, but I saw a picture and I have wrinkles, but I can't see him now. That's because you got a light hard, a light on you. That's yeah, the but, lighting that we have. But I have wrinkles on my face during, in this picture. And I'm like, where are they? Well, they're there. You can't see any wrinkles on me. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can? How come I don't see them? Well, I don't know, because when you look in the mirror, you're lit. When you're looking here, you're lit a certain way. Listen, if you want answers to anything, go to Bonnie. Bonnie has all the answers. She really does. I'm telling you, look at her. Look at her all pretty. You wouldn't think somebody that pretty would have all the answers, but she does. Not as pretty as Margot Robbie, but pretty in her own way. Mm. Both on, on a 1 to 10 scale. Both of us won't fuck you. Both okay. of them 10s. I guarantee Margot Robbie would go out with me and hang yeah. out with me. She would hang out with me. Well, she doesn't seem mentally ill to me. Oh, so you're saying you're mentally ill. <laughs> I was. <laughs> now I'm stuck in it. I did get better, but then I was, I'm in it. I tell you all the time, you're... It's crazy that I'm married to you. It really is. What was going on in my head? What was going on in my head? Oh, come on. You got Top such a game. deal. You got such a deal. Oh, they, called me, me? they called me Tommy Top of the game. <laughs> they were calling me Bonnie Bottom of the game. <laughs> oh, wait. What's my nickname? Uh, Mixed message of Bonnie. Uh, oh, yeah. Go ahead and make fun of how I talk. All right. I can't find this one coat. I'm looking everywhere. Okay. The, that's, the, that's, it's the police jacket that has a police out emblem on it. Oh no! Oh yeah. Who'd you lend it to? One of your friends when you worked out? You brought that. I had to send someone out the back, and it was cold. I was like, "Here, just put this on and go." No, you probably brought it to work out and left it there somewhere. I he, he once every two months he accuses Raina and I of stealing his clothing and oh, that was giving it to people. I mean, he literally walks around like in a tearing things up, going in people's closets. Yeah, I've never seen and, anyone so obsessed. And did we find my sweatshirt in your closet? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, well, like, yeah, well, why no. get so crazy? But, you, but the, I, I, I rest but my the, case. The, but the, the thing that, case. like, I've given it or I've left it. Well, you could, yeah. yeah. The other day you go, where's that coat? You just, that clothes I wear? get missing. You go, happens. where's that coat? And then it was in your car. See, yes, yes, you are absent minded. You say I forget, but you are more is as forgetful as I am, Ooh. and you're absent minded and you're Ooh. yawning. So tired. All right. Anything you want to plug? Like my Your I need? mouth. 
All right. Thanks, everybody. And uh, meet us back here in two episodes for our 500th. If anybody has listened to all 500, please let us know in the comments. I don't even know. I've never read the comments. Um, <laughs> what comments? Like, subscribe, and leave a review. Because you know what? We've done this 500 fucking times almost. So without a guess, one leave, guess. Leave us a good review. Thank you. We appreciate it. This has cost you nothing. Cost us our money. It's cost us <laughs> so much to do this. It's really crazy. I mean, I look really cut. Okay. Wait, oh, let me get the shirt. Thank right. you. Now, look at that fucking physique. Upper All body. right. Margot Robbie. Give me a call, Margot. Email me, Margot Robbie. Email him. Or follow me on Twitter or something. Just let me know that you Do know. Do you follow her? Why don't you follow her? Slip into her DMs. How do I go into her DMs without oh, okay. her following me? I can, without her following me? I don't know. She may have her DMs closed. I don't know. I'm not going to be one of those, hey, I'm a big fan. I'm like, I just think she's cool. Okay. Thank you. I'm sober, Margo. 36 years. Probably before you were born. Thank thank you. He <laughs> wipes his dick on the side of the bed. But go go ahead and enjoy that. <laughs> My Wife Hates Me was created and hosted by Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast by visiting mywifehatesmepodcast.com. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some spunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bomb and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.